I feel like a cheerleader. This wig is my pom pom. My name is Nelsa and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing morning, evening, day or night, whenever and wherever you're watching this video. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so, 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 so much for coming back to my channel. And if you're not subscribed to this channel yet, what are you doing? Go and smash that subscribe button right now. Give this video a big thumbs up and drop a comment down below. Also, please make sure to go follow me on Instagram at hey, it's underscore Nelsa. Also, don't forget to smash that bell button to make sure you're notified every single time your girl drops a new video. So guys, I am really, really, really sorry that I haven't posted in like a week. And I'm sorry that I haven't been as active on YouTube with you guys. I'm trying to change that. In the past week, I was taking AP exams because I am a high school student. And at the end of the day, school comes first to me. My grades always matter because I do really want to go to college one day and create a future for myself. But I'm back now and I will be on your channels commenting and watching your videos because I do have more time now that AP exams are behind me. With that being said, we can jump into today's two video shoutouts. Okay, so the first one goes to Adoma the Crocheter. I hope I pronounce your name right, but I love her so much. She does a lot of cool things with crochet. She made a bikini on there. She made a halter top. She made all these cool things. And recently, I've actually been trying one of her creations. I'm trying to recreate her bikini set that she made on her channel. Go check her out. Go show her some love. Shout out goes to Carl Mill Fit. She has lifestyle content, cooking content, family content, grocery content, any type of content you love. She has it. I really love watching her videos and she's always so supportive and commenting on all my videos. So I really appreciate that. Please go and make sure to show the two shoutouts, Love, Odoma the Crocheter, and Carmel Fit. So, as you guys can see by the title of today's video, I'm going to be doing a wig unboxing slash try on. This is my first time doing a wig unboxing slash try on, really, on my channel. I did do a wig haul with my mom back in December of 2019, but that was a little bit different. If you guys haven't seen that video yet, please make sure to go check it out. The link will be in the description box below. But during quarantine, I haven't really wanted to do anything with my hair. I recently took out a style I had like a couple of days ago. So underneath this lovely scarf, I have my hair in like, ugh, like not the greatest state. I pretty much twisted my hair and then put it in a big bun at the back and then just left it like this. So this is how my hair is looking like. And today we're gonna be trying a really cool wig. So I'm gonna be trying this wig from, I think it's called Ultra or Outre or however it's called, I don't know. But it's pretty much this brand. And it's going to be this beautiful afro. So the afro is not actually in this color. The afro that I got is in the color black. But the packaging looks like this. I want to advise you guys that if you are going to buy any wigs during this coronavirus pandemic, make sure that you don't try on the wigs at the wig store. Just order new packages. Like for this one, I got brand new package unopened from the store Kiri. Well, actually my mom bought it for me. Love you, mom. Go make sure to check out her channel, Precious Vlogs. Link in the description box below. But she got me this like lovely wig. I really like the packaging. Look at that blue color. It's very nice and neat. And this is what the back is looking like. So I do not actually have a wig cap. Reason being that I don't know where the wig caps at Kiri have been at this point with this pandemic going on and I'm just not taking a risk, which is why my hair is like very flat right now so that the, the wig can fit on top of it. So when I open it up, it looks like this. Packaging is really easy to take out. It says quick weave, high text, heat resistant fiber which I really like. I love heat resistant stuff because those are awesome for the summer. 
And the style name is Afro. Okay, so I'm actually really excited for this. I want to see how it's going to work, how it's going to end up looking. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so fluffy. <laughs> This literally reminds me of Michael Jackson, not gonna lie. <laughs> Super fluffy. I love the texture. And like, if you bring it a little bit closer, you can see like the defined curls. But you can also see that they're like really fluffed out and stretched. And then on the inside, oh my gosh, I can barely show you guys the inside. It has the net thing that Wigs usually has. And then it also has combs. I'm not necessarily like a big fan of wigs that have combs, but I think this one will work well. Yeah, it says quick weave, and it has the little logo thing, and it has a comb at the back. This is how I know it's the back, because it has a tag. And then it looks like there's also a comb at the front. Okay, let's try this baby on to see if it works, if it looks nice, if it looks bad. <laughs> I'm just curious to see. Oh my gosh. Can I even squeeze this on top of my head if I had a wig cap? That's the question. They're going to be here struggling. Especially if these combs, I feel like they're just going to dig into my hair. Oh my gosh. Ah. You know what this gives me? This gives me Oprah vibes. You guys know Oprah Winfrey? This reminds me of her, except her hair is a lot longer. So I actually really like this. I'm, if you really wanted to, you could do a lot more things. Like if I pin this to the back of my hair right now, this could make a really nice low puff. Like you guys, check out that texture. If I just got like some bobby pins, oh my gosh, this would look so good, bro. Or if I had my hair like in a high ponytail, and then I pin this one down. I could have a high puff too. Oh my god. <laughs> so now that we're done with the good stuff, I do have a couple complaints. I don't like combs in wigs. I didn't know that this one had combs. It does have a comb at the front and one at the back. And I don't like that. Because even if you have a wig cap with it, it does dig into your edges. And I'm trying to grow them back right now. Not trying to be bald at the edge. Okay? And my eyebrows are literally falling out right now for some crazy reason. So I'm trying to grow that back out too. And I don't need more things to worry about growing. Another thing that I would have liked was if the back was a little bit longer. I know that this is an afro wig. And realistically speaking, afros are all proportioned differently. But I would have really loved to have a little bit more on the bottom. Because when I stand up front like this, you can't really see the back. You can only really see it when I turn to the side and I like having like that full volume where you can see all the parts of the afro from the top to the bottom and everywhere. I don't know if it's the way I have the afro placed, but I would have really loved to see like more of the back from the front side. Like you can't really see it that much when I'm like this, but I wish you could. On the bright side though, if you wear an afro wig like this, you don't have to worry about doing your edges. There are wigs that you need to do your edges with. Like if you do a lace front wig, maybe if you have like a curly wig, doing your edges will make it look cute. But with this, I can just wake up, throw it on, not worry about doing anything, and just walk out the house. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I would totally recommend this wig to anyone who is looking to have like an Afro type looking wig. If you guys don't know, I'm trying to grow my hair, my beautiful natural hair, and make it look fabulous and have some length. And one of the great things about protective styles like wigs is you don't end up touching your hair. Your hair is protected. It's growing. It's not being over manipulated. And this is definitely going to help. I'm probably going to be wearing this wig in all my videos to come. Okay, cookies. So I hope that you guys really, 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 really liked this video please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up to drop a comment down below and to subscribe to my channel join cookie squad join cookie family i would really 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 appreciate it please 
don't forget to go follow me on Instagram at hey it's underscore Nelsa. I also know that you guys have given me a couple of you know video ideas. So if you are one of those people, I am working on those videos currently coming up soon. I'll be back with the bangers. I hope that you guys are staying safe and that you're enjoying your day. With that being said, see you guys next time. Bye, cookies.